Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata 2014 in Santa Clara. I'm here with Eli Collins from Cloudera. How are you doing, Eli? Great. Thank you for having me on. Sure. So you've been talking a lot lately about um, the hub, mm -hmm. the Enterprise Data Hub. Can you unpack a little bit about what that really means? What is an Enterprise Data Hub and why is it important? Yeah, that's a great question. So there's a big mismatch between the types of information problems that people have today and the technology that they've been using to solve them traditionally. And so the Enterprise Data Hub is a, our product to address that gap, so help uh, companies better uh, benefit from their data. Is it a product or is it a way of doing data or yeah. building a data architecture? Yeah, so, so the Enterprise Data Hub uh, as a concept is larger than just Cloud Era's Enterprise Data Hub. You know, that's a, it's a category of systems and our, right. our product is an instance of, a, of an Enterprise Data Hub. And so what is, are the practical uh, uses of an enterprise data hub? What, mm -hmm. what, what would someone get by deploying that sort of architecture or a product like what you guys have? Yeah, so the enterprise data hub typically has two uses. And it, so some people who are using it to save money and then some people who are using it to make money. And then sometimes you'll start in a, in a save money use case and then go over to a make money use case. And so uh, a good example is a uh, large payments processor is a customer of ours and they want to do better fraud detection and the current technology wasn't working and if you, know, you can get a one or two percent lift in fraud detection that's just a huge impact um, and it's a real problem for them so they'll use our technology to do better fraud analytics um, then they happen to notice that they could generate value-added reports on the same data that they're using to do better fraud detection and so uh, a data hub means you start with one use case you know, data-driven uh, problem, and then you can add other use cases that you know uh, access the same data, um, but perhaps with a different tool, different workload. Um, so it's all the data in one place with high fidelity, any volume, any variety, um, in a single place. So, what if a, a company, an organization such as like the federal government, mm -hmm. has old data systems? and mm -hmm. they have new problems that they're trying to solve. Mm -hmm. Does the Data Hub somehow help that situation yeah. work better? Yeah, the Data Hub fits in with existing infrastructure. So people tend to park and build Data Hubs next to their inf uh, their existing information systems. So you know, you might be, uh, park it next to a data warehouse because you're actually doing uh, better data warehousing. Uh, you're parking it next to all the systems you use for uh, uh, ingest and documents uh, and search and whatnot because you're uh, enriching those applications with the, the data hub. So you've been working a lot lately with the federal government and mm -hmm. government agencies. Um, what is that all about? Yeah, well the, the government, um, like many of our customers, is in the information business. Uh, and the data the government has is actually one of its uh, its best assets. And so we've been helping the, the government, like most companies, uh, become better uh, at using data to solve their problems. Just not the NSA? Uh, well, you know, the NSA has been <laughs> active in, in actually <laughs> investing in this technology, but most of the work in the federal government is is beyond uh, security. So you have treasury, healthcare, yeah, uh, you yeah. know, regulatory, there's, there's a lot, uh, NSA gets a lot of the noise, but there's a lot of other use. A lot of opportunities, yes, yeah. yes. So where do you see the uh, enterprise uh, data hub going in the future? Yeah, so the, the Enterprise Data Hub is is still very nascent. People have been using it today, but the word's kind of gotten out and it's getting adopted more and more. Um, and so part of it is just as organizations uh, adopt the Data Hub, they'll start to solve more problems. And then that's kind of, you get a feedback loop. As you solve more problems, you get more users and workloads on the on the cluster. And so it'll become you know more functional. You'll get uh, more capabilities that you can do in the platform, as well as new uh, pieces of software that are written on top of the platform. So the Enterprise Data Hub allows you to do things that you couldn't do before. So, you know, for example, some of the data exploration discovery expert, uh, uh, software that you see here at the conference is stuff that you could only do on an enterprise data hub. So if you look at a, a data stack, like mm -hmm. not, not the company data stacks, but yeah. like a data stack, is the enterprise um, uh, data architecture or data hub, mm -hmm. is that middleware? Um, so it's not, it's less middleware. Uh, you could actually have middleware run on top of the enterprise data hub. Um, so it's more base level architecture? Yeah, it's, it's infrastructure for data processing, serving, storage, and analysis. Okay, okay, interesting. So those tend to be discrete systems in a lot of organizations, and a lot of those discrete systems are now applications on the, the data hub. Okay. So, you know, whether it's search or data warehousing or analytics or uh, ETL, just general data processing, those are all things you can do on the data hub. Okay. So part of it is just that the data hub itself is getting new tech, uh, 
new technology to do a better job in those directions. And then, you know, large partners of ours and existing ecosystem players are replatforming on the data hub to provide the same value they already do, uh, but on a new with a new data source. Okay, so here, here's my final question for you, and it's a personal question. Mm -hmm. um, if there was one problem in the world that we could solve by using data, mm -hmm. what problem would you tackle? That's a good one. Uh, I would have to say there's a huge amount of opportunity in, in healthcare. You know, one of the one of the biggest gaps. But you know, if, if you look at um, the challenges that we have in terms of putting data to work, um, and how do we do that and impact the most people, um, you know, there's a lot of opportunity in large corporations, and that's uh, where you know they've really kind of been the bleeding edge adopters, um, both as end users and customers and whatnot. Um, but if you want to hit the most people, I think uh, doing some use case. Um, use cases around how we can use data to actually provide better care or better care more efficiently so we can reach more people. Uh, that'll probably have the largest impact in terms of total number of people. Excellent. Well, we look forward to seeing you in the yeah. future. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. That was great.